Uh, we should also say that, that soccer is not really you know, the main agenda item for Canada's prime minister right now. He's focused on trade negotiations with the United States, coming out and saying that good progress is being made on automobiles, and he's looking forward to signing a NAFTA deal. But he's also holding firm on the supply management system that does protect Canada's dairy farmers. Now, all this is happening as Mexico has cut its own deal. They did this yesterday. Right now, we've got a bilateral agreement with our southern neighbor. Edward Lawrence is the first U.S. reporter to speak to the Mexican economy minister right after the country worked out this deal. He joins us now with more on his exclusive interview. Edward. Well, Cheryl, yeah, we worked together to get that bid, right? Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Well, the United States and Mexico hopes that Canada will work with this new agreement we have here. Now, the agreement covers a wide range of topics. We know about autos, but we're also textiles, agriculture, and some new areas of business like information and communication technology. It's a thousand pages long. Well, in an exclusive interview with Mexico's economy minister, uh, he told me that, and this is the man who wrote and negotiated the lead investor, negotiator for Mexico, told me that the 25-year-old NAFTA needed to be updated. We have our phone and telecom that guarantees free market practices, and that is very important for business. New manufacturing depends on Internet. The Internet of Things is mostly on the digital era, and therefore the access to new technologies and to, and to, and to, the, to the network is very important. If you have a regulated market with no competition, it makes it very expensive for new players to really come into the new tendencies. So this new agreement uh, is thought for the, future, for the future of the economy as well. And he's talking about modernizing uh, this agreement here that includes intellectual property protections within it. Even in agriculture, they have covered the new area of gene editing in plants. And we also know about automobiles. 75% uh, of an automobile will have to be made here in the U.S. Uh, or in Mexico under this agreement. Guadalajara says that Mexico is right there anyway with this. Obviously, the companies have to do adjustments, investments, but 70% uh, of our exports to the U.S. are very close to that business model. They may have to do additional efforts, but by the 1st of January of 2020, when this agreement is supposed to come into, into progress, into operation, 70% of our exports will meet the rule, which means that they will have unlimited access at zero tariffs. Now, after looking at this agreement, many of the manufacturers here in the United States uh, are support this agreement, including retailers. The National Association of Manufacturers released a statement saying, quote, uh, manufacturers accept the administration's position that the 25-year-old NAFTA agreement needs updates. Our hope for the sake of our workers and a successful manufacturing industry here in America is that the final agreement will include all three original signatories, the United States, Mexico and Canada. Well, that starts today. Now the Canadians are on their way here to Washington, D.C. to meet with U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer to see if they can sign on to this deal. The U.S., uh, I'm told from sources, is going to present the deal to Canada. Uh, the U.S. again, though, the president has said he's fine with bilateral deals. So we'll mm -hmm. have to see if they sign on. And so yeah. they're, they're arriving today, so talks will really start in earnest, Edward, tomorrow, I'm assuming, correct? Exactly, yeah. The okay. talks will start in earnest tomorrow. They have till Friday uh, with, the, with this original language, but uh, once the letter is sent from the U.S. Trade Representative's office to Congress, a 90-day clock starts. Now, within that right. 90 days, Canada, Canada can still sign on. Okay, very interesting, Edward Lawrence. A lot of moving parts. Thank you for covering all of that, and a great interview to you, sir. Thank you.